This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Designed to try and uh, create a more pedestrian friendly urban core of vibrancy. You heard the mayor, there's some big changes coming to Carson City. What these improvements will mean for the state capitol in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. Now this morning, city officials broke ground on the next phase of a multi-part streetscape project in downtown Carson City. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Let's show you a little bit where on where we're talking about. This is the capitol right here. And this, uh, this project will go between East Robinson Street and Musser Street. And this will all run basically parallel to where the city did a similar fix to Carson Street. Mm -hmm. You might remember this. This right. was back in 2016. But tonight, Ryan Canada shows us what the plans they have in store. If you were to take a quick trip down Curry Street in Carson City, you'd notice worn down asphalt, low hanging power lines, and a sidewalk that simply doesn't have enough wiggle room for pedestrians. What can we do in Carson City that benefits the businesses, benefits the residents, and benefits the visitors? The answer is a $4 million upgrade. One that'll emulate the changes that came a block over on Carson Street just a few years ago. A wider new sidewalks, concrete sidewalks. We'll have new LED street lights, which are more energy efficient. There'll be some furnishings, benches, um, and also some new pavement on the street. All of this to create a more family friendly and enjoyable experience in downtown. One that gets people out of their cars and onto the street, promoting a healthier lifestyle. Everyone in town tells me how much they enjoy being outdoors. Not only to make a more pedestrian and bicycle friendly community, but to create a sense of community. One of the business owners here on Curry Street says improvements to the walkability in downtown will actually be good for helping to draw in more customers. We're going to have seating here and here between the two trees. So we'll be able to serve food and drink right out here on the sidewalk. The West Side Poor House currently focuses their attention on serving people inside their building. It's a double dip. But once the streetscape project is complete, they'll be able to open their doors to a whole new kind of clientele. Honestly, I think it'll make it more of a destination where people can park their car, walk around, go to different shops, look at different bars, food, everything, you know, see what Carson has to offer. Construction crews plan to finish their work on Curry Street before Nevada Day of this year. Covering the big story from Carson City, Ryan Canaday, Channel 2 News.